What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia. Just want to quickly mention that this is part three of a three part light bar series. Just want to let you guys know because this video cuts in halfway through the installation and this is the final process of installing the light bar and waterproofing it. And I'm going to jump in the van and we're going to do a nighttime test of the light bar in this episode. So episode one is an introduction to the light bar, some nice close detailed shots of the light bar and also all of the tech specs. Part two is where we start installing the light bar on the truck and I'm also going to show you guys because I couldn't find it online how to specifically wire up a light bar to your high beam switch. To date, I haven't been able to find a video that says, hey, this is exactly how you do it. Everyone says, yeah, we've just wired it up to the high beam, but they don't actually show you how to do it. So in part two of this series, I'll show you some troubleshooting and some problem solving to make sure you wire up your light bar correctly. And uh, yeah, look, I just want to say massive thank you to Oxbeam for sponsoring the very first video. The installation videos aren't sponsored videos, but the very, very first video was a sponsored video by Oxbeam. So I just want to say thank you so much for sending me out a free light bar. I've attached it. I already know how good it is, guys. I've already attached it to the van. I'm filming this after everything's done and it's amazing. Like It's a great light bar. I have checked a ton of light bar review videos on YouTube. You're welcome to go and check those out yourself. Oxbeam definitely are a legit company. So if you're looking for a light bar, I'll link all of their company details in the description of all three videos so you guys can check them out. Anyway, enjoy the last episode. All right, so this is happening. in the roof of my truck. Where is it? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Righto. So that just happened. <sighs> Alright, plenty of silicon on that. Make sure it doesn't leak. Get to mounting. So right now I'm just going to set everything up so that it's all waterproof. So as you can see right here, I'm just using some, this is some translucent Sikaflex. It's sort of like silicon. I've just put two little donuts there around the holes. They're going to get stuck to the inside of the roof. I'm going to take that to the top of the roof and start doing some silicon work up the top. Then yeah, just screw it all down and it should work. It should be watertight. <laughs> Again, time will tell, right? <laughs> this with it in my mouth because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Would you guys be horribly offended if I just... And you guys can see me work. Fill each layer up with silicon. It's totally okay to be liberal with this stuff. You guys see what I've done there? So we've got the big steel plate here. Well, it's actually aluminium or aluminum if you're from America. This thing here is spreading a little bit of a load because the um, standard washer that came in this kit isn't really made for sheet metal. So I'm hoping that this works out. So that's going to spread the load. We've got a we've got a ton of silicon up here. I'm going to crank this down now and let this dry and this should be a watertight joint or a watertight seal and then we'll do the other side. Perfect. Woo, that took forever. It actually did. It took a couple of days to get the light bar all sorted out, but the light bar installation is done. It's on the van. We are ready to take this thing on a road test and check it out. It's the middle of the night. Let's go.
with the light bar. Without the light bar. With the light bar. Without the light bar. Huge difference with this big bastard. Let's let these little fellas have their dinner. Let's see what else we can find. Look at that, rabbit. Mate, you can see absolutely everything with this light bar. Go on, little fella. Which way are you gonna go? Go on. <laughs> Off you go, mate. So we've found kangaroos and rabbits. Let's see what other wildlife we can find. Oh, hey, look at this big bastard. Mate. So you don't see shit like this with your normal headlight. Kangaroo strikes are so frequent here in Australia. These fuckers, they just sit on the side of the road and as soon as you come along, they just decide to jump out in front of your headlights last minute. These guys are only small as well. You know what, man? Like, this is the perfect test for this light bar. Just being able to see these kangaroos. If I was out in the bush, I would definitely have the light bar on just so that I can avoid an animal strike. The kangaroo population here in Australia, last time I checked, is, oh my God, look, there's a little joey. Can you see the little joey sticking out of this one's pouch? Hello, hello little joey. The kangaroo population, last time I checked, was 35 million. The human population was 24 million. Just to put into perspective how many kangaroos we have in Australia. Look, the little joey might come out of the pouch. Come on, little joey. Alright, is that enough terrorizing kangaroos? <laughs>